Uh, hi, my name is Rich Woods and I'm Head of Spirit and Drink Development at Duck and Wonkel. I oversee the development of uh, the cocktail menus, primarily uh, the creativity for the group. Based in London, I'm at Duck and Waffle, uh, but I look after the brand as well in the US. So we have Sushi Samba, Sugar Cane Raw Bar and Grill in Miami, and Bocce also in Miami. Throughout the day, there's a lot of creativity. Um, anything kind of pops up, but also a lot of a lot of my day is actually spent uh, at home distilling, uh, and then the remainder part will be actually expediting on the bar or actually on the floor hosting. So basically, uh, I distill the alcohol, um, not just alcohol, also uh, aromas for work. Um, we have an array of cocktails that I distill, uh, anything from coffee to removing alcohol from alcohol, if that makes sense. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is to blend the food or the culinary and the liquid worlds. So bringing the experience of the drinker, uh, the drinking into, um, you know, into your everyday uh, meal. It's a fairly large team, it's a small bar. Um, we only operate with two bartenders at uh, any given time. The team is about 16 strong, it's a 24 hour bar. Liquids on the bar, we probably have about 300 individual spirits. Our biggest spirit selection is probably gin, British spirits as well, obviously um, brandies and, and whiskies, then rums and tequilas. Uh, and then obviously we have the bottled cocktails as well that we, we batch up because purely because of you know, the production time that these drinks take. The thinking process or thought process behind creating a drink is very much along the same lines as a chef. You start with an idea, it may well be what you're trying to create. So you, you, you start from the back and you work forward. Uh, other times I start with a, you know, a base ingredient. Uh, most of the time I'm actually inspired by a, you know, either a dish in a restaurant or something I've eaten out or an aroma. And then I kind of focus on that one ingredient and then I kind of then branch out and pair that one ingredient with multiple different aromas or flavors. And then we come to a sort of common ground and that's how, that's how the, you know, the thought process starts. It always starts on paper. We've had a few drinks that fly out on the menu. Other drinks that are sort of always at the top of the list, um, the roasted Cosmopolitan. We wanted to take a drink that had a little stigma behind it, i.e. in this case, something quite feminine. Uh, and we wanted to make it an all-rounded drink that could be enjoyed by both guys and girls. And it's always one of the top three or four best-selling cocktails. There's no end. Uh, I wake up every morning uh, with a new idea. Uh, for me, it's always time is my biggest issue. It's not having enough hours in a day in order to uh, produce everything that I want. Um, I often find myself kind of playing around with something just at the tail end of a season and I have to hold back until possibly the, you know, that, that season comes around again. Just continue to evolve, seeing how we can make the drinks upstairs in Duck and Waffle more user-friendly, more practical, bringing them sort of more to the foreground of, of the attention of the the sort of the drinking public to show them how uh, a cocktail isn't just uh, you know three or four ingredients thrown in it's not a sweet drink it's not a sour drink it's a well-balanced affair and, and, and you know, for the most part a lot of bartenders put as much attention to detail into their drinks as a chef would do plate one you know when plating a, a dish.